going on guys welcome back to another video so we had our first update video on the 1985 Oldsmobile and this is actually a pretty darn cool kit so I was going to give you guys a first update and a first look at it before everything goes in basically paint so basically everything's all ready for primer and yeah for paint so we got the body here and pretty much everything's all sanded and all ready so let's go ahead and show you guys what the heck we're doing um, we are going to do the, pretty much the box art, we're actually going to do this whole thing box stock basically. Normally I will change up the wheels and tires, but I actually love these wheels. So I'm going to keep them the same and paint the centers black where they're supposed to be. So, but yeah, we're basically going to do this build basically box stock because I just love the style. I love, I love the wheels and basically the whole thing is pretty hard cool. So, so this is going to be box stock. So. Um, so, we got the body it all pretty much ready, and the body needed a lot of work. So, if you're going to be doing these fenders, the box art version, the over fenders and the skirt and stuff, this thing this needs, 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 it needs a lot of work. It's not going to bolt on and be perfect straight out of a box. So, you're going to have to do a lot of sanding. These side fenders are actually pretty darn thick on the box, so I actually sand it down quite a bit on the wheel car is actually not that thick so I seen these down quite a bit on both sides so they do stick out on the wheel car and this is more enough for me because you know they're supposed to be even with the fenders so the even with fenders now so that was more than heavy with me so that was pretty good the foot rubber had a little issue getting on and their you know lineup is a little bit different it's a little weird on the yeah might up the fender so I had to sand them up or down quite a bit on both sides so but we got that taken care of and looking pretty darn good and the rear end same uh the bumper had it lined up with the fenders back here so we had to sand it down so it's quite a bit of sanding so and the spoiler on um, you know no problem just had to drill a couple holes on the bottom and that stepped right in no problem so that's pretty darn cool so other than that that's done um, another major thing is the hood was a very tight fit. It closed, but it was rubbing against. See, I still gotta do more sanding because see how very close that is. Obviously, primer, paint, and clear is gonna fill it in quite a bit, and it's not gonna fit anymore still. So, I do still have to sand it down. That gap right there is more than enough, as you see right there. So, I'm gonna try to do that right, right there. So, that's, you know, so that need, it needs one more work on the hood. So, the hood needs a lot more work but other than that the body is scuffed up ready for primer so that's fantastic so yeah I'll work but it's gonna look pretty darn good when it's done hopefully well I'm sure it will because it's all black it's gonna be pretty much all one color this whole kit or car I should say uh, the engine is a wonderful engine um, yeah the engines right here and it looks fantastic very cool the filter is molded in so you do have to Bring out the mold line and stuff. And but other than that, the engine is a wonderful piece. This is basically all black too. The basically this whole kit or car is black, so it's pretty basic. It's all basically just one color. And pretty much all over here is sanded. Lots of pulleys, all that stuff's black. All black, black, and black, more black. <laughs> so filter, I think it's like a chromish color or aluminum. As it is on a box, I gotta look up on some, on some Google images, so I'm not sure, but pretty much all black. The chassis, black, <laughs> the, cha the axles and stuff, black. The exhaust, aluminum, obviously, so that's all sanded and fantastic. And that looks pretty cool. The box art says the interior is black also, but I see some pictures of the real car, and I think the interior is actually gray on the real car. It's like a dark gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the interior dark gray because pretty much the whole thing's black. The body and chassis and engines all black. And if the interior is black too, this is one boring heck of a car. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the interior silver or silver gray. So that goes for the seats, the floor, the uh, dashboard. The dashboard's actually in two piece. You got the gauge cluster deal right here so that's actually pretty cool and that's separate I'm not sure the gauges go in there I think they do so I'm gonna keep this separate but that just snaps in there and that actually was pretty cool 
the radio system. I think that's a de I think there's a decal for that. If not, that's easy to pick up with a toothpick. So the dashboard is actually pretty cool. I love how the dashboard looks. Uh, the interior is all one big bulk of a unit. So basically paint this whole thing silver. I keep saying silver. Basically the whole thing is gray and then you know then I'll flock the uh, floor gray and then you know keep the center console gray and the seat obviously so basically simple fight interior door panels are separate and the door panels are right here those look fantastic nice detail so gray obviously so it's you know need, it needs a little bit of detail painting but other than that it's it's a pretty cool car it's pretty basic because you know it's supposed to be mainly two colors black and gray <laughs> so so very basic but it should look pretty good the windows are crazy tinted on the real car as there is as it is on a box art so i'm gonna be doing basically like a limo a limo tint on this car so i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be tinting the heck out of these windows probably have to do like six coats to because they're really dark on the real car so but that's pretty much about the kits i mean you can do this basically three different ways there's three different front bumpers there's two different back bumpers there's some different wheels on here so you can do this kit different ways but i like the i like the black version and the fenders and stuff it looks pretty clean and i love the yellow pinstripe goes on it as a, that's a decal so that's pretty cool so here's the decals and i love how that looks the yellow so that's pretty cool and here's the gauge clusters so yeah that's actually pretty cool so i'm actually taking the yellow and black theme so that's pretty much all it's going for this kit nothing too impressive because it's basically like i said it's basically two colors but other than that it's, it's it's gonna be a pretty darn cool car so that'd be pretty cool so i do want to give you guys a little quick update on the uh whole build, me doing a mega build series a lot of you guys said you, you would love to see a full build video so i kind of thought the video would be pretty cool because instead of doing like uh, you know part by part like one part body one part interior one part chassis i thought it'd be pretty cool too but i figured out those might get in the way of my update videos because this my channel is my known for these update videos and i know you guys like these kind of videos so i'm just gonna do one big bulk of a video just you know from start to finish in one video I'm not, it's not gonna be long i'm obviously gonna do editing and just cut it down to like 20 minutes at most so but i am gonna have a tutorial video on a body i just did the sanding and, and you know prepping process video not too long ago so uh the how-to video you know will probably be up by the end of this week so stay tuned look out for this video because i do over i do you know over voice and i'm talking, i'm telling you guys what exactly i'm doing on those build videos I'm not gonna do any talking, just the video and a little bit of music. That's it. But this video, the how to, it's gonna come out in this week, and I'm telling you guys how I'm doing the body and how I'm painting it. So you see that on the end of this week, probably. But other than that, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. It's obviously gonna be in paint, and you know, I might get the chassis and interior done before that. So stay tuned for this for the next video. Subscribe if you're new. But until my next video, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.